Ooh, welcome back, Heavenlies. This is Heaven's Army playing Dark Cloud 2, Episode 7. We are going to continue on. So this is the episode after my TV uh, decided to white out. Like, it burnt out so badly, everything went white. Uh, and uh, it's uh, I got the replacement TV set up and ready to go, and... Yeah, it's like, it, that That was just enough of a distraction to throw me off of everything. Um, I think we'll just continue on, right? Yeah, it, it completely, like, my brain's like, I gotta go in here to find out. So, I heard from my friend that they did not play this game at all. Uh, okay, yeah, we need to move on. Oh, it's a seal. Fine. Uh, and, uh, by the time I got my TV set up and everything, I did watch one anime episode. Uh, yeah, my, everything's like, what did I do on Dark Cloud? Because, uh, my, 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 my memory of Dark Cloud is, I don't think I did much other than, like, I fought the dragon with the electric worm and that was really it. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. The floor appears to have, sure, I can only, oh, no, I can't restore health. Okay. No problem. Um... Uh, good grief. <laughs> um, help? Swinging with a wrench? I must have did that for the for the boss. My goodness, things have happened. Yeah, it all it takes is one distraction to throw me completely off my game. That's why donations are like a, a bad thing for me, because it's just like if you donate, I'm, I'm done for days. <laughs> wow, I should I should open up no more treasure chests and just beat this. It, oh, I was like, why is there two doors? I think I know why. Yeah, so that's the one that I can go into. And this one's got the glowy thing that I don't have the power to get in through. Yep. Eventually we'll get the star power. Not yet, anyway. But soon. Ooh, zappy. Zappy. Well, if I could keep fighting like this. Oh, you're new. Oh, Medusa, look. The tail! I thought the tail was a uh, scythe. Can you stop blocking, please? Only I should have the ability to block <laughs> and dodge and be strong and epic and stuff. Ah, uh, whatever. I got another swan. It's, it's moments. I'm not, I'm poisoned. I'm poisoned, but I can't get unpoisoned? I can't get healed! Oh my goodness, I just realized how bad this is. I was like, why can't I? And I forgot, I'm on, I'm on a floor that I can't heal. Well, Max, you're a goner. Well, I best swap to Monica now and hope for the best. Max is finished. If I have to fight any tough enemies, I gotta be very careful. I can't believe I'm already doing it myself. <laughs> no, I can. Uh, I totally can. I have stories, but I don't want to say it now, so I don't have to repeat it. But yeah, if I don't, if I don't tell anybody, if I say it now and no one's around, I'll, no one will ever hear it. So I'm waiting for my slowpoke heavilies to show up. Yeah, they're just late all the time now, not, and most of the time when they show up, they're not even here. Some most times. What am I going to do with them? 
See if this thing helps. No, it can't help my health. Um, swap to max and possibly get healed. Be healed. Why is it? There we go. This is uh oh wait, no good swing. Just start swinging when it's a mimic and always open up from behind or you'll, you'll die. I can't believe this game is still like you can die at any moment. I laid off one nanosecond too quick. I mean, before when I got, when I made a mistake, it was super punishable. It. <laughs> it, it came after me and then it, it stopped? What's happening? What's truly happening here? Repair powder. Can I at least repair my weapons? 76 to 115. Well, her weapon goes down the most, right? I get another one. Sure, we'll put it on max. Awful lot of mimics on this floor. <laughs> Speak of them and they appear. Wow, okay. See that they're extra trying to get me killed here. Oh, a normal one. I've appeared like enemies. Yeah, like enemies that are always late. Either way, welcome back. Did you hear the amazing news of Tekken 8 flowers? Are you keeping up to date with Tekken 8? And that wasn't a rhyme, that was just words that came out sounding like a rhyme? Yes. Are you pumped for tomorrow then? Because tomorrow's the tomorrow's the day that it happens. <laughs> I heard it last night, and I'm like, this is the best news I've heard. Uh, I don't think there's any online stuff, so we can't fight each other. But but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the demo as well. Uh, that's happening tomorrow. I hope I don't download the demo and then just play that. These enemies are just blocking all the time now. Either way, um, oh, okay, don't want to zap the enemy. I did not want to do that. Here we go. I'm glad I'm blocking. I can't heal on this floor. But yeah, the demo is going to be nice. I, from what I've read, it only only sounds like they have four characters in the demo, and I'm like, no, please, no, give me my Elisa, please. <laughs> I need to play as Elisa. I need to see how she handles before Tekken 8 uh, appears. Wow, just straight up dodge that. But yeah, so my bad luck uh, struck pretty hard last night. Uh, 
And I, I thought maybe it was going to be okay because I already had a backup replacement TV. Fortunately, uh, I, I had a... My TV uh, whited out. And it was going for a while. Uh, I knew my TV was dying, but it died last night. Um, uh, but the replacement TV that I that I got, the bad news kicked in at, at that point. Uh, I have a nice, beautiful TV, and uh, I don't know when it happened, but maybe during the transportation to my place, uh, something really sharp hit the screen, and now one third of the screen is gone missing. So I had a perfectly used TV, um, and everything was perfect, and somehow, at some point, when it came to my house, there's just uh, a mark right down uh, the middle of the TV, and uh, one-third of the whole TV is just gone. Uh, so, yeah, I, uh, I guess that one was going to replace my old TV, because that TV that I got was even bigger. It just, everything went bad. So, I, I do have a backup TV, I'm not down to one TV. But literally, the, my replacement TV's mark is in the worst possible spot in the middle of the screen. And all I could really fit on this TV is Twitch chat. And uh, I, I shrunk my chat to the top left, above Twitch chat. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just really bad. And uh, I got the, the restream chat on the right of the thing. But, uh, I can only see two Looks lines like of, of restream chat, because the rest of it's all blocked off. It's like, man, like, I, I had a chance to have a happy TV replacement to, to watch it get ruined. At some point, somehow. Okay, this one- no, it's not close, because I have to change my, my weapon around, and that's not- not doable. If they expect me to do this in two shots, I want no part of it. Yeah, it's 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 brilliant luck. I mean, I was I was happy that I'm like, you know what? I gotta I gotta use TV. Let's do it. Uh, I'm happy, and uh, I plugged it in last night, and I I saw it instantly, and I'm like, oh man, really? So yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll have to just like do the thing again where I'll ask everybody. I need a I need another TV. And hopefully, uh, it, it, you will it into existence and it happens. And I get another TV, because, uh, yeah, I, I can't use this TV. It's it's like somebody just, you know, somebody just took something really sharp and stabbed the TV. And it just split all the ways out from the center of it. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, and, it, and it just, it took out, like, I don't know, the size of my body? <laughs> Yeah, if, you, if, I, if I stood in front of it, it, like, took out that much of the TV. It, it was, it's a really big TV, too. Um... But yeah, oh well, it's, it's rough. Uh, it, it broke my heart, because I'm like, man, what a beautiful TV. If it were, if it would if it wasn't broken, I would have then unplugged my left TV, and then moved the right TV to the left and brought my old TV to the right, and I would have had a huge TV to game off of. But, uh, no, it didn't work out that way, so I'm glad I set it up to, to the right r TV first, but, uh, anyway. I basically went from, a, a smaller TV that had, like, a huge chunk of the side of the TV missing, to a bigger TV, but a bigger piece missing near the middle of the screen. <laughs> a little to the right of the middle. It's just like, oh man, why me? <laughs> you were perfect, TV! What happened? When? When did it happen? Anyway, so yeah, I I sulked over it last night. The the <laughs> I've done my sulking already. That's the word I want to use today. Um, but yeah, oh Tekken Eight. I I hope it's not four characters: Jin and uh, Nina and two other people. <laughs> Kazuya most likely and somebody else. Because really, no. Really, no. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, I'll, I'll have to get it and then find out. And sadly, I don't know if I should just, like, do Tekken 8 demo right, like, tomorrow? Or, uh... 
or just keep doing this and then do Tekken 8 whenever. I mean, really, if I was a smart streamer, I'd do Tekken 8 tomorrow. But this poor game has been put on hold for grinding, and it's just gonna get put on, on hold because of a, a game that'll be more exciting and thrilling. Hornhead. He attacked with a shield. Okay, a new attack pattern that I haven't learned yet. Well, we're gonna heal up. Neat. It's like new patterns every enemy. Every enemy is gonna destroy you in this game. You think I'm only gonna get four hours out of it? If, if it doesn't have Alisa or Asuka, yeah, I probably am gonna get only that many hours, you're right. I just- oh, I got the item to leave already. Awesome. I want the map soon. But yeah, if it only has Jin, uh, Jin in them, um, I, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> what, oh, there's a red enemy over there. Oh, okay, it's the same enemies we fought before. Why is he not moving? Why is he not attacking? Thank you. Well, no, if he jumps, I get hit constantly. I, I can't attack him. That's not how this game works. You just can't run up and attack because the enemies will wreck your entire life. Hi! Oh, I tried to do a jumping attack. Hi! me. That would have probably- oh, I kicked him? I didn't know I could kick in this game. I just Steve kicked him. <laughs> okay, new enemies. I really wish I didn't have the slow weapon in the world. This hammer is too slow for me. Okay, there's three items up there and three items over there and- oh, two items, three items, and one item. Oh. Let's take the most enemies, maybe? Oh, that's my exit. <laughs> I swing so slow and I have no range. How am I supposed to play as Max when I... Swing and a miss. One... Two... Three... Okay. Count the hits, pull block, and wait, and wait, and wait. You've been rocked. <laughs> and bopped. You've been bopped and rock, rock steadied. Oh, no. Why mimic? Okay, it's fine. I'm pretty sure that means I'm thirsty. Water flying into my mouth means I'm thirsty. Raindrops keep falling in my mouth. Not not quite falling on my head, but falling in my mouth means I'm thirsty. Unlike the real me, I'm I got my water right there. I'm going back. I'm not I'm not dying. Yeah, I'll go all the way back to heal if I must. So, still can't tell you the game that I got from the rest of May's donation, but, uh... Uh... 
it, we're going back in time, so I'll give you a clue. Uh, we played... the last one we played was the newest one. And then from that newest one... oh man, not another one. Uh, we're going way back in time, but I'm not playing the one that I'm supposed to play next. Does that help? Good. Oh. That's a sword slash. Oh, what's up, man? Many names. What's happening? That's the only context clue I can possibly give you. Do I dare turn into the right pod because it's going to die anyway? Gonna try to take out Sooty first. Okay, well, at least I. <laughs> at least that happened. I should be able to take this thing out with. That's a thing, right? Ah, victory! Ah. So, uh, man many names, good news for you. You said you've never played Tekken ever. Well, the Tekken 8 demo's coming out tomorrow. Uh, but if you don't have a PlayStation 5, you might be in trouble. <laughs> so you still might be. No, if you got it on PC. I, uh, the system requirements might be interesting. But yeah, no, if you want to give Tekken 8 a try, it's coming out tomorrow. The demo. The free demo. Uh, yeah, that, that also helps a lot, too. <laughs> so I want the map, but now I don't want the map because I don't need the map now. It's it's too late for the map to even be worthwhile. Yeah, that thing is garbage now. It is a scrap of paper. And shield? Nope. So, it, it, he, had, he does a, a overhand swing and he can do it again. Or he can overhand swing and, like, delay his attack and do a shield attack. Ah. Thank goodness this game is so easy, am I right? Everyone played and beat this game. No one ever quit and gave up on this game. <laughs> I locked it with your PC. Most of the parts are considered decent even now. Well, that's awesome, awesome. Uh... Hornhead! <laughs> So much more easier if I throw a rock at him. My laptop's way older than that. Stop blocking! He blocked and he was trying to shield bonk me. Yay! Wow! Bones in the treasure chest. Wow, didn't even see me, turned around, instantly attacked. We did a 180 attack. I, I can't do a 180 attack. I have to turn and then attack. Do you see how slow that is? He just went, what, and attacked me instantly. Yeah, enemies are so overpowered in this game. Oh. Well. Up kick I do. Yeah, that's something. Wow, they gave a lot of experience there. I went from 600 to uh, 700. Wow. Awesome. 
Yeah, not tomorrow. T tomorrow is uh, tomorrow, right? Not not today. <laughs> As Flowers is also writing. Yeah, uh, the, the <laughs> I can't help you. Tomorrow's tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. Like the screen pausing every five seconds. Maybe I should try to fight around here. Whatever floor this is, I just try to remember. I like how I don't say anything when I'm on this ride pod. You like how I instantly sassed many, many names there? Didn't even hesitate. Didn't even hesitate, just went full out 100% sass. He's been around long enough, he should understand by now. <laughs> <laughs> no one's, no one's, uh, able to get away. Man, I'm not shooting that thing that far. Get out of here, silly golf game. Doesn't even match the vibes of this game at all. The sass will happen, yep. You are bound to make a mistake and I will call you out on it. I just love it when I do something amazing, nobody says anything, and then I also does it. I also make a huge mistake, and nobody calls me out on it either. I mean, like, not at all. Uh, a, a little bit here and there is sometimes, it's so rare. Uh, I know it's this amount of sass I give everybody else. You would think I'd have everybody sassing me too. So I used the ride pod, so now I gotta like warp over here because this game works this way. They should have never had this set up this way. The the train, I should always enter the dungeon from the train. And I should also be able to build where the train and the, and the dungeon is too. This, this, and this should be uh, all connected together. And the cave. All, all these three should be this all connected. Because why do I have to like warp and load and then warp back and load again and then walk into the cave and load uh, again? That's uh, Dark Cloud 1. At least the first dungeon was like that. Um, you literally walked in the cave at the back and if you backed out, you're in the building area. Thanks, now I gotta warp all the ways back. Oh, I hit make, not move. It was. It started with an M, it was close. No, I don't. Uh, I heard that on at the Epic Game Store, uh, a whole bunch of them are, are going for literally nothing on PC. Uh, but I definitely can't uh, play it on PC, so uh, it's literally uh, doing nothing for me. Uh, but it would be awesome if they stopped that and put it on PlayStation 5 and made them all free, because then I'd play it instantly. I'd get all of the uh, DLCs, expansions, and uh, I'd play them, I'll play it then. That's what I think, Flowers. Were, were you prepared for that answer? I see you saying, huh, that means you don't even know what's going on in the, uh... Warframe worlds. Not Epic Game Stores. Is it Epic? Is it? Yeah, I think it's Epic, not good old games. It's Epic. Yeah, there's all of all the DLCs is, is, is going out for free on PC. All of them or a bunch of them, don't know. Didn't care to look any further than that, because I'm like, if it's not on PlayStation 5, I don't care. I knew he was gonna spin. I, he looked like one of those spinny enemies, didn't he? I'm glad I just held, held block, cause... Well, there's no DLCs, are you sure? Are you saying my, my source of telling me these things is an absolute liar? Oh no. 
Oh, I can't switch to Max right now? I hope they don't want me to fight one of those things. Inside, but they can't carry any more items. They're only the add-ons, not the not the DLC. Oh, they uh, they uh, they made it sound like it was all the DLCs. So, what are the add-ons if they're not DLCs? No, I'm confused. my health going down? I didn't. I did not hear my health going down at all. I Did I get hit once or twice or even more? I didn't even notice I got hit. Good grief, this game. The add-ons are just Paxor Platinum. Oh, they were way off. I'll give them a piece of my mind after my live stream. My bad for dying. I, again, the, the last episode was not hard at all. And all of a sudden, I'm just, I'm starting to die now. And if I'm getting enough blue experience, I don't want to level up the sword just yet. Especially if I'm going to level up right now. So if I can level up my sword one more time and then it's getting a pain, then I'll... Thought so. I'm locked on, so why do I miss? You've not heard of that? No, there's been... I, I think even Final Fantasy XIV had uh, a whole bunch of free stuff. And same thing with Final Fantasy XI. The game is like 20 years old. They gave like a whole bunch of the first uh, expansions for free. Right? After it gets so old, why why keep saying, give us money, when no one's gonna pay for it? And Warframe's old. It's like, grandpa games. <sighs> okay, that robot's not gonna be... You don't class expansions as DLCs? I do. Please... Attack normally. Not defeat these things. What hit me? Good grief. Good grief. I got attacked from an enemy off the screen. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's this game. No, I did not want to attack him. I want to open the treasure chest. Why are you watching so many ads? Do you not know that like the ads are um? Please off lock. Thank you. Did you know that the, the uh, you can get rid of all the ads for 25% off this whole month? 
Have you not been paying attention to everything is 25% off or more this month? Now is the time to strike. Especially it being 20 whole 5% off. Cool, so how do I get this treasure chest if there's enemies looming over it? So now is the time. This enemy's the worst, okay. I really hope I don't have to fight a Neo Vanguard to get the item. Well, if you don't want any ads, now's the time. Cool, that'll help me in a dungeon I can't defeat some of the enemies on. Scrub. Oh yeah, no, I left that there for later. I left- oh, I'm trying to swap out the map! <laughs> I'm trying to hit the map, hit- I uh, uh, hit the switch button and vice versa. Open. Because my TV is like one third percent broken, what one third, thirty three percent broken, uh, I can't see if anybody subscribes or stuff unless it shows up on Twitch. Uh, and it shows up in Twitch chat because I don't have my thing working anymore now. Yeah, I lost it on that wonderful gift that I used to have. It does. It does, but I, I'm waiting for the, the day my laptop breaks, so I'm done live streaming. The moment my laptop dies, it's over. gonna soon break. Should I just go back now and save myself a long run back while I'm in the middle of the battle? Cool, I needed that uh, last episode. Actually, if I keep going this way, it won't be so bad. I just hope my bad luck stopped my, with my new TV. go. <laughs> That's why I saved it. Look at that. Fully restored weapon. Ready to go. Perfect execution. I wish I could just attack the enemies before they all attack me. And they get stunned in one hit, not three or four. Did that catch his attention? Sometimes the enemies ignore me and it doesn't help me in, in, at this present moment. Well, if I don't soon defeat one of these enemies and they don't give me my, uh... If they don't give me the thing I need to get out of here, we're in, in huge trouble.
Please drop the thing I need. No, <laughs> it's gotta be bad. If I have to fight those robots, we're we're never going to win. It's good. I do six damage, and they have hundreds of health. Come on, Zappy, drop what I need. No. that one didn't drop anything it's fine my life is this is the normal life here almost missed effect, of course. Cool, that's not what you were supposed to do. You are supposed to equip normally. And still nothing. This turtle's gonna give me what I need, right? It's the turtle. Right? Nope. This game does not like me anymore. I got a water element as well. Oh, you mean these. And I can't swap the max, right? <laughs> of course I can't. Uh it's gonna get bad as as more well, I mean I could I could level up my weapon now, yes, but I, I was trying to not level up my weapon because I want to get stronger. Is this the one I did damage to? sorted my stuff, but... But creates thirst. You know what? I sold all of my bombs. I think I'm gonna buy them back. In case of a situation like this where now I have to fight these robots one-on-one, -on -one, 
and it destroyed every single enemy on the map but that one, and that's the one that has the drop. I think, anyway, I could be wrong. Uh, the item is usually above the weapons. Yeah, no, I, I would see it here, and if not here, I would see it here. So yeah, it's 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 that amazing. And uh, every time I block, I get hurt, and there's no healing, so yeah. <laughs> wow, I did one damage, everybody. They better fear me. Six damage! This is actually stronger than my weapon. Sneak attack from a robot, everybody. This is why this is... This is why if you don't play the game the right way, it's kind of like really difficult and why a lot of people gave up on this game. I, I've spent 60 hours in this game and I still don't have ranged weapons done yet. So I'm just getting, I'm being punished because I only grinded for 60 hours and they wanted me to grind more. Fun times. If I don't charge up fully, I do no damage. So even if I do that, I get hurt. Not happy. <laughs> and look. Poof, there it appears above my head, the item I needed. The last enemy, and it was a robot, and I defeated all the other robots and it was the wrong one. Isn't that hilarious? Isn't that bad luck just hilarious to watch? Are you not entertained by how lucky I am? Uh, okay, this one's plus... Oh wait, where's my... I mean, technically, if, if I could level up this one... That's not what I wanted to do at all. Equip. Oh, that was 20. It is a little... Oh, no, but... It, no, it is higher, stronger. It is stronger. But this one does wind, while this one does fire, yeah? But even weaker fire, too. But, yeah, I don't know. There's no way to win, uh, not unless I spend another 50 plus hours grinding, and I don't really want to do that again. I'd have to quit this game and uh, do a couple other games just to get my weapons leveled up like my my guns, my ranged weapons leveled up like my sword weapons. And I'll only be strong enough to handle this dungeon. Once I move on, my ranged weapons will become too weak for the next dungeon, so I'm going to keep using my swords and hopefully I can get through. 
And then worst case scenario, just buy a bunch of bombs and stuff and, and then hope that that's good enough. I, I sold all my attack items because I was told they're just a waste of space, but that literally saved me from... Uh, uh, that literally saved me from fighting in that dungeon another half an hour longer. Whoever told me to sell all my attack items were wrong. Somebody on the internet. Purple Iron House. Okay, good. Now we can get in the house. Eight Luna Stone Lights uh, placed. So, purple house. Purple iron house, okay. Let's get that one done first. Foundation, uh, Shigura Village saved. Shigura Village saved. Eight Luna Stone Lights. Uh, okay, no, I still need to restore the Luna Lab, but I need Shigura Village saved. Okay, so let's head to the future. Oh, Shigura? That's Balance Valley. Palm Brinks. Sindane and Vinicio. Uh, where's Shigura at? Is that- is that somewhere else? <laughs> is- is that somewhere else? Are you having fun though by watching me suffer uh, immensely? Because a lot of people really like that. And I didn't know a lot of the internet was full of sadists and schadenfreudas, but... Um... Yeah, uh... My bad luck also brings up <laughs> me, me having a hard time on an easy game. So something changed in the future? Oh, okay, we have another- we have another building. So again, I know there's like treasure chests all around, but they don't appear until something happens. Or you finish a floor, or you defeat a boss. Then some treasures appear. Yeah, um, most games, all the treasures are just there, you just gotta go and pick them up if you want. Not this game. They're here, they're just unable to get picked up until you do something, and then, and only then, will they truly appear. Here at Luna Lab, we uh, simulate a nighttime environment to boost the power of the Luna Stones. You make it pretend nighttime, and it actually works, so the stones are stupid, then they save. It's you. I heard you had a dispute with Dr. Osmond. I'm not criticizing. In fact, I think it's great. New discoveries are made uh, when we question things. That's true. See, that's about- that was the smartest thing one of the scientists has ever said in any video game ever. <laughs> you can't get used to the bright lights, you say. I reckon it'll take you visitors from the past a little while to adjust. We're- we're not used to seeing lights? 
Okay, I guess there's a different world than what I live in. The Luna Stones, uh, the Shigura bring, uh, us, help us clear our heads and concentrate on our research. I don't know what the Luna Stones are exactly, though. Okay, so they said something about Shigura, and I need to sh save the village. So that'd be cool if I could do that. Why are you standing in a corner? Well, I'm just taking a bit of a uh, breather. In a corner? is like less air in the corner. Getting bouncing off and stuff. And you need to give your brain a rest now and then, or else you start losing your edge. I agree to that too. My goodness, some, some of these people are smart. Yes, you do need to rest from time to time. When people say, oh, all I need is two hours of sleep or four hours of sleep a night, I I just don't believe you. <laughs> your brain needs to get its rest. I, 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 sure, you're like, you've been doing it for years, but you're no, nowhere near as sharp as you could be. And there's no way you're remembering every single thing that you need to remember. Everyone's names and phone numbers and passwords and everything in your brain. I remember all of these things, you know. It's because I go to bed at night and I sleep. <laughs> I get easily distracted though. That's my biggest flaw. Multitasking and easily distracted. I, I My TV blows up and I'm just like, what did I do with uh, Dark Cloud 2 yesterday? Like, I have no idea. I'm just going in here because I, I thought I need to talk to Osmond to make a new invention. I think his name's Osmond. Osborne, maybe. There you go. A cutscene's happening. Hey there, I'm Dr. Knob. No way. Well, I'm the head researcher here. So there's a there's a bunny rabbit who's the head researcher and a kid. That's the, that's the two smart people is a bunny rabbit and a kid. But you're a the scientist. I know what you're thinking. What's a kid doing in a place like this, right? No, uh, I think some kids belong in smart places. <laughs> some kids do. Yeah, how come? You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. This lab relies on sheer ability. Yeah, if only the world cared about that a little bit more. The more brains you have, the higher your position. It's only natural. Sometimes that doesn't work that way. <laughs> so that means you're the smartest person here then? Next to the bunny? I guess you could say that. Or are you the smartest person in this lab? By the way, I know about you folks recovering the origin points Griffin destroyed. Now, how does he know that? And now you're on the quest to restore the world. I just had the computer run an analysis. I even know what you're searching for. Cool. What? Really? A device to talk to sea dragons, right? Huh? Don't you want to go 10,000 years in the past? Not yet, too soon. Oh, well that too. But first we need a machine to let us talk to those sea dragons. A Shigura translation device. So the Shigura, the uh... The Sugar Ray, uh, dragons, right, my bad. We already have one of those. There's one already? Yes, Shigura are very important creatures to us here at the lab. They've evolved. They got bumps on their back now, <laughs> and on the back of their heads. Once a year, they come from the South Island to the shore here. When they do, they bring a stone called the Luna Stone with them. Yeah, I've picked up a couple thousand in the, uh, in the dungeons. That stone has the mysterious ability to rapidly increase human brain power. And I've been just putting them in doors and letting the doors take them away. <laughs> this is why my character is not smart. Thanks to the Luna Stone, this lab is home to the world's best thinkers. So it's vital that we be able to communicate with the Shigura too. And that's why we've already developed a Shigura translation device. He's gonna go. Hey, you! Hey, you, Flunky! Not so smart, less smarter guy than me! Yes, sir. Go get me the shell talkie. The <laughs> shell talkie? Yes, sir. That was, It was like. It was <laughs> two steps away! <laughs> he made a guy run two steps to the left and then two steps back. Here you go. Thanks for the shell talkie. 
I'll be I'll be walkie with the shell talkie. Yeah. So we can talk to the sea dragons with this. I love. Okay, it wasn't a question mark. It wasn't. A, I didn't ask a question. Thank goodness. Well, sort of. You'll only be able to understand Shigoro with a comparatively high level of intelligence. Oh no. Does my <laughs> does my character handle it? Not Shigoro children, for example. Oh, okay. It has to be adult Shigoro. I thought I thought I thought we need to have some <laughs> some intelligence, and we're like, uh oh. I guess that means a chat with Shingala is out. Thanks, Doctor Knob. We'll be back. We'll see you then. Did they did they forget to put an S there, even though he's not really one of them? I'm terribly sorry, but we're in the middle of discussing some highly confidential research. We can't really talk uh, with you standing there, so... Would you mind leaving us alone for a while? I mean, if I stay here and, and just put the control down and go to bed and wake up tomorrow, would they even do anything? No, right? It's a PlayStation 2 game. Oh, does it- there's a treasure chest inside this building? Oh, don't even tell me that there's treasure chests inside these buildings. I probably missed a thousand of them then. It's all about ability here at this lab. Uh, with the right ability, even a little kid could be top dog here. Dr. Nob is talented, of course, but hardworking too. I just pale in comparison. I'm like an albino. That that doesn't make any sense. Take good care of the shell talkie now. That's one of Luna Lab's most important inventions. Not more important than the electric uh worm? If you're all like that's a dance? No, it was an actual electric worm that I fed a the the water dragon thingy to remove a helmet off of its head. And you're like, no, that's not what happened. N yeah, that is what happened. <laughs> that's exactly how it went down word for word. You think I make this up? You think I joke that much? I don't. This game is making me want to play Nino Kuni. And this game is making me want to play like other games because I kind of I just I want to I, I want to play a good RPG. And maybe the game that I'm getting might scratch that RPG itch maybe. Yeah. Well, it looks like you did it. Guess my invention came through for you. Yes, indeed. Yeah, that electric bug thing, snit worm thingy. You know, I'm gonna have to go to the other house again, because I did not realize that there were treasure chests inside of these buildings. And no, they weren't here last time, or they were, my bad, I don't know. But they're like, even even if I know they're here, I don't even see them. Yeah, I could be walking right by two or three and I wouldn't even know it. But cool, I'm glad I went over to the to the doors and, and, got, and got the other cutscene that I needed. I need- I needed it now. Um... So it's that one there that I need to go into and look around. <laughs> if there's a treasure chest in there, my bad. I didn't realize treasure chests would be inside these buildings, too. How many people wish you could run faster and teleport in the future? No, okay, there was no treasure chest in this one. Okay. Thought I missed it again. Yeah, this was the first one I went into. We're good. Max goes up another defense. Max is up two defenses to her. I'm probably missing so many treasure chests now. 
Uh, maybe when I defeat the chapter, I'll go back to all of the places, and then maybe there'll be more treasure chests in the future. Uh, of all the other places we could have gone to. Um, because yeah, that'd be awesome, but I still cannot open up the one treasure chest in the chapter 3 weapon shop platform on the right. Not till after chapter 6. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, I'm assuming after chapter 6 it would be the time to go and get them, but I kind of want them now. I don't want to wait so late to open up a few treasure chests. I need to get stronger. I'm, st I'm still dying I I in chapter 4. Um... I'm pretty sure I used my right pod, yeah? No, it's 53 of 53. I'm just going in here because I'm trying to find a way to get healed. Again, every time you eat food, it, um... You lose... Uh, you, you, you don't get healed up from it, so... Did that work? It did not, so we're still hurt. Okay. I don't know how to get healed up from a, from a fruit that you eat. So, I probably already made this whole town perfectly, by the way. Like, they, all, all that's required for you to beat the game is... Just this. Like, th this is all you need. Uh, sadly. And, uh... <laughs> I really wish you could build more. I went a little too far to the left. We got three more stages and something else. Let's just beeline it to the end, right? Try to get some more story happening. Did we sass man in many names so hard he, uh, he, he disappeared? What comes after the fishing contest? The, the fishing frenzy. Oh, I was going to say the, frenzy. the other fi uh, fishing. That's right. Contestants race their fish of choice to see which one is the fastest. Great idea, Mayor. You outdid yourself this year. <laughs> Beanie Frenzies will be held in the Palm Brinks Town Square. I skipped all of the fishing season, and I'm going to skip the Finny Frenzy season as well. From now on, fishing contest and... Okay, no, they're both going to be there. Still don't care. I don't know about you, but the sword that I have is not weak. The sword I have is is absolutely... I have 62 attack. Eighty-seven is not that big of a jump. Maybe it's because I can only do damage to Beast, and I use Cyclone, and that's what I do. Cyclone. Everything's weak to <laughs> everything is strong to wind in this game. Maybe. Cause yeah, like I'm doing no damage. Okay, maybe if I get this level, I should level up my sword. Maybe. Ah, oh, now they know where all the enemies are. It's so easy to run up and whack an enemy with Monica.
right, I forgot to buy bread and bombs. I actually meant to buy items like that. fast. I didn't even see it happening again. These enemies keep psyching me out. I did not want to jump. Give me my Luna Stone that makes me smarter if I used it, but I'm gonna stick it into a door and not use it to get smarter. Up smart enough to figure out how to open up the doors without using the Luna Stones and keep getting smarter after that as well. How many times has Heaven said thing? I would say a million times this episode. <laughs> it's sort of my thing. Go, Max! Attack Sudi! <laughs> you see what I did there with an A? You're fired. Well, as I so jo jolly fully go with that word. Uh, go through this dungeon a bunch more times. Eventually we're gonna get into a, a spot where a cutscene will kick in and then I'll be able to fully build up this town. And then and only then I got another Eevee. This is why you don't run up and bonk them. Because they just leap out of the ground like that. And Max swings even slower than her. It's unfair. Sooty! Silver ball. So how come you can't lock on when you're swinging your sword around? Ow. The snake was un... unfazed by me whacking it with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> this thing did not care at all. Ugh. It's gotten it's gotten the chapter one, chapter two difficulty hard again. I might as well unlock it so I can see it. Yeah, it it, it just it, this floor just got difficult. Oh, we're going outside. Neat. You're gonna go to sleep, even though I have so much to say to you. 
When I attack, I hold R, and I still can't. Uh, oh. uh, if you do a jumping attack and you try to block, you don't block. Yeah. Okay, well, Maximilian can handle that one. You have yourself a good one, too. Max kill is to killing few less enemies than Monica, but the ones that Max kills gives way more blue bar experience. Because yeah, he's just he's constant. He's almost got another level up over Monica already. Madness. Actually, I didn't want to do that. Cool. The map after I explored everywheres and got the whole map done. Yeah, there's just like one enemy to the north past the door I I um, I have to enter it back into. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Let's do it. It'll take a, I can't mess this up, so build up. Uh, f for Monica, I believe it's the top one every time. But I can double confirm that. I actually didn't think I needed to, but... Oh, right. I forgot that I can't see this is my screen. Um, uh, Monica. So I'm on this one. So if I go up, we get Brave... Okay, no, I don't want to go up constantly. I want to go down on the next one after Brave Arc, so... Um... Ooh, so now, build up. We want to go to this one. Uh, because this will allow me to stay down and I'll get the Ruler's Sword? Giving me ABS, which I'm assuming is more blue bar experience. Uh, and then I go up. So we just need Cyclone and Exorcism and Attack. Um, to which... This sword here, that should be glowing... Should have Cyclone and Exorcism and... Up a little higher than the rest. And we're ready to go. Is it supposed to be the ruler sword? Yep, the ruler sword. And then we just go up and up and up and up. But now we can just level up. The sword's got to get leveled up now to get my points back. Um, but that's awesome. That's ready to go. I can level up these swords or start leveling up wrenches again now. Um, to get... To get the next stuff that I need for the next sword. But yeah, no, it's just like, shoot, we were ready to go. We should be pretty strong once I get this weapon leveled up too. Damage. Looks like we got them all. 
Looks like we did. Woohoo, that's a lot of blue experience, I like it. So I should play as Max until I get my level up. And then I could uh, level up this weapon as well. This weapon's ready, been ready to go for a while, yeah? No, it's not. I need chill and smash. Oh, I did not plan for that at all. But yeah, all I need to do is bring up this weapon. Again, it'd be way cooler to have a really stronger weapon brought up, but... It's fine. Knowing that these treasure chests are not mimics are nice. Another one of those, oh. check to see what Monica needed, but uh, maybe it's Max that is all, all top? Because I'm on the, uh, the the hammer. Oh, Max is the only one. Max is in the hammer path, so I can only go one, one. There's no split paths anymore. So we're gonna go straight to the, to the, to the final weapon. It's Monica that needs to be down to one, and then up for the rest to get up and around to the to the, uh, to the legendary weapon for her. Cool. I thought, I thought, I knew somebody had to move down one path, but... Yeah, I just want to get in, get in and get in, get out, get healed, and then go right back in. The Geostone fell. Not yet. actually trying to figure out how this map was gonna work and while I was thinking I didn't even try to attack that mimic at all <laughs> yeah. Oh, ho, ho. that was my first charge attack I, do, I don't do any charge attacks because it was a wind-up thingy, but it made sense to do it there. I still say going up would be better, but I'll follow this path and see where it leads me. Oh, this path was a better path. Because I unlocked that and going outside is the right thing to do because outside seems to always be just along the beach, always. Oh, I got two enemies. I got attacked once and I'm almost dead. <laughs> I really need to get 1,000 and... Whatever's gonna make my uh, ride pod stronger. 
I don't know if it's the, the one above 1400 or 1600 or the one that says gives me another heart thingy. Um, whatever, whatever will make me stronger. I want that. Cutscene kicks in soon, <laughs> so I'll have something or somebody to react to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Up and down is. I mean, yeah, we, we already got the exit, so I guess up and down would all be. No matter which way you go. Another one? What in the what? I, I keep getting. I got Stagger locked out of that. Wow. Me stagger locked. Yeah, I love this game. Okay, hold up. Um, technically, it's Monica. Uh, my weapon's good enough. Okay, that was interesting. She did a huge backflip, and it took a long time for her to attack. Glad I did all the charge of attacks, then we'll never have to do those again. <laughs> That's right. It's like doing a negative 27 or something attack in Tekken. It's uh, not wise. circle waiting for it to attack and it somehow still got me i don't get this game oh this game oh i don't have to fight anymore if i see any more robots i'm not fighting them I am not fighting them. There is no reward for fighting them. All I see is death when I fight those robots now. Oh, nice. That amount of attack power is nice to see. Already level up. 
Is this a loop? It is a loop, okay. I just want the experience before leaving. This game is so much more easier if you can just get the item you need to get out and just like skip the rest of the enemies. Yeah, it's like so much more fun to like not fight in this game. <laughs> Even with this amazing sword, I still can't fight them, right? Like... Nine damage. Nine damage. I just love up my sword very, very much, and it, I, I can't defeat them. up there. Nothing down here. Protector Crystal drop from Shiva? So there's two robots I could fight with Max or just leave them be and like try to get more progress to unlock more treasure chests which gives me more health and more defense. Uh, I think progress is needed more than fighting those enemies for a little bit of blue experience. don't I? I guess I could try to build up my little town a little bit too. Oh, I do have enough. So, when I went up the core, did I able... was I able to... Improve energy, right? Energy is what I need. Not enough capacity. Okay. I need to upgrade my thing first. Got it. We're so close. We're, we're, we're almost there. One or two uh, robots and we'll probably we'll have more than enough. And uh, we'll we'll see if I can finally upgrade this robot. Yeah. I was hoping I could walk to there and hit select. 
This, they know, they know too well. <laughs> no shortcuts are being allowed. Green Iron House placed. Ah, and it's near the boat. Actually, the best thing to do is to have the wharf uh, split up and have the wharf here and here and here and put the boat in the middle. And then have the boat, uh, the houses on each side, but, um... As of right now... Um, scrap metal? Faster. So I'm just gonna go shopping to find some scrap metal and I could move on. Let's try the first car and work our way back. I'm trying to remember who sold the stuff. I know he did, but that's, did not somebody else sell other stuff? No, oh, no, there's scraps of metal. Back of the train is probably the best place to go. I'm glad I have money for this. If I would have had to farm the items in the dungeon, it this game would have been... I, I probably would have rated this game not good at all. Um, so I'm glad I could buy the things, because, yeah... Uh, that, that just would have been really bad to... to Google wears scrap metal, what do I fight, and hopefully it drops. Okay, um, what was the color of the house? Green. I got kicked out of the thing. Did you see that? <laughs> I, got, I got kicked out of placing the fence.
What? Undo. Undo that. <laughs> um, excuse me? Oh, I can un I can undo that, but when I take away the things, I can't undo what I just did. Why would it do this? And it unpainted it, didn't it? Why? <laughs> Was evil. Red house, Claire. Blue house, Donnie, right? That was uncool. Um, right, 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 right. No, no, no. I gotta do this, this. Like, she wants a light by her place. And I, um... Uh... I cannot handle... I'm now I'm all like, why did this happen? Um, these gave me a bunch of points, so let's do it again. One on the corner. Uncool. <laughs> That was very uncool, game. That was rude. I was, like, just messing around. Let's make sure I click on the, the fence this time. I was trying to make this place a little nicer, but, like, now I'm... No, you know what? I, I don't want to. Now, I wanted to, but now that it broke, I, I want nothing to do with it. Someone resides. Luna Lab Foundation. Lab 1 is Claire. Lab 2 is Donnie. Lab 3 is the Purple House. Lab 4 is the Green House. I need to save the Shigura village, and then I gotta get 60 culture points. And I gotta get the Luna Lab, which is that one, so it's Shigura village saved. Which is the, the, the water dinosaur things, right? When you delete everything, the paint goes away. I, I can't believe how much I, like, broke everything that quickly. So this should be... Yeah, this, this is another dungeon. It's a Geostone Fell. And then the next one, I should run into the... Uh... Ooh, the music's different. I already found the exit. The Shiguras.
Well, it's the right guess to go that way. Because we got exorcism one, I did 180 to 194. Is my health really that low? So that's how I died last time. I'm I'm already like I'm really in trouble. found outside. Perfect. I can't wait till I get to the dungeons where I can start getting diamonds and stuff. Ruby, sapphire, the, the, the uh, the gems, I guess I should call them. I'm, I'm waiting to the point where I start getting gems. So I could really start leveling up my weapons to a lot better stats. In the first game, you, you got them right away. You were I was able to make the, the Seventh Heaven Sword, like, right away. Three hits and zappies out. Man, it's so nice to see the experience go up like that, isn't it? Yeah, if only, uh, if only all the weapons would go like that. Every level I got more attack and stuff too. <laughs> Never- no I have, I've played a few games where like, I, I don't want to do something and it keeps happening. Uh, like, and it's just like, I'm not- I'm not purposely trying to do it, but it's just happening all the time. There's a few games I've played, but this one's also touching upon that, and it's just like, I, I don't want to backhand spring and front jump. Ever. Well, there's my get out of here thing, but I kind of can keep on fighting. And I'd prefer to find an enemy or two that's, a, that's the robots from uh, the floors before and get my uh, 1400 to upgrade my, my ride pod because that clearly needs to get leveled up. It's, it's weaker than us, so... And I'm... I, at the beginning of the game, it was way stronger than us. So either A, it's supposed to always be stronger than us, but, uh, yeah, again, that's just, it's another thing that I have to try to level up and use. 
I already have two characters to focus on, so the right pot is too much, and the guns are too much. So I, I kind of like lose track of trying to get it all done. Attack almost killed it. There we go. <laughs> the right one can't handle it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean to do this with Max, but it's fine. Yeah. Uh, it's so- I, I'd rather play as Monica. I have a sword, it's fast, it's got a little bit more reach than the hammer. It's so much faster than the hammer. It's just all around my kind of weapon. Uh, but I have to play as Max because I sometimes am forced to. So I made sure I leveled up both Max's weapon and Monica's weapon so I didn't struggle. But sometimes, oh... Okay, I could kill it if I attack it that many times. Whoa. This weapon's been on caution for a while and it's still going. as well just repair this right it's got over a hundred and one that's better than my no is it better than my hammer no 116 my hammer is at wow oh I'm starting to hit wrong buttons now <laughs> I'm starting to hit different buttons that I don't even need to hit Okay, these items are throwing me off. If I did that, does it break everything? No, it for some reason didn't reset it. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is everything? Now I just gotta go and... Um, when I fight in there and whatever happens, I'll unlock the other thing and I can just build up 100% after this, but I can at least get this town ready. Windmill? And 80 culture points? Luna Lab and a windmill. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the windmill will help with the culture, yeah? So in Dark Cloud 1, the whole point of placing the windmill is to get a bunch of treasures around it. We get nothing in this one! And it's- we can't even go inside! We can go inside a windmill in Dark Cloud 1! Alright, anyway, whatever. <laughs> um... 
We got 50 and 60 culture points, and we just need 80. Wait a minute. I think I just need to make the, the silly things, right? These. brought it up 68. Oh, I can put people in the house. Um, I don't think that'll bring up the culture, though. I think it'd be nice to have the fence around here, maybe. Can I build eight pieces of the fence? I jumped it up to 91. Cool. Um, that'll work. I keep hitting the wrong button. There we go. Uh, 80 culture. We just need to help the Shigura out. And then the Luna Lab is restored, which fixes that one. And it fixes that one, and it fixes that one. So once we help them out, we'll have a 100% completed village. I'm assuming we don't even need this house. Eighty 
lady too. Yep, but we're fine. I'm gonna save that house for another village then. But again, it's I, I don't know. Like I could have built another one of the roundhouses, but like I don't know. Do I did I need to? The, the brick house doesn't fit. The, the straw house almost fit more than the other one. Oh, why did it send me like that? Why was it the first of the thing and not where I was supposed to be at that end? Cool, we're about the halfway mark. To the Shigura village. We need to save them? Are they gonna give me the power to go through the star places now and unlock more stuff? Phew. We're here! Shigura Village! Okay, no, they look the same from the future as well. It sure looks like it. Which Shigura should we try and talk with? Who knows? Let's try them all one by one. A line above her forehead. All right. Um, don't need to save. I think we're good. Welcome to the Shigura Village. Please enjoy your stay here. I love how they're just like, welcome. Yeah. Shouldn't they be like, trespassers die, food. I know we can't speak to them, but I'm gonna try anyway. This place is where we allay our fatigue from our long journey, so please uh, do keep it down. Okay. We are a migrating race, and every year we make the long journey to come here. Rar. Okay. I kind of figured the ones over here with the, the different colors. Uh, like, that one should be the one I talked to last. This is our village elder. Uh, be on your best behavior, please. Yeah, I kind of figured, like, th that one stood out, right? And cutscene. I am Barul, the Shigura tribe elder. We rarely see humans here. What is it you want? We can communicate to them too? Well, actually, we have a favor to ask. A favor? What is it? There's an injured Shigura on the far shore. Human medicine isn't doing any good, so we need some Shigura medicine. A Shigura? Hmm. Then it must be one that got separated from my tribe. I think so. I must be getting old if I can't even keep my own tribe together. All right, take this then. Update <laughs> secret dragon remedy. <laughs> it should work on our lost Shigura's injuries. Care for him well. They, I, I like it when a fantasy world has trusting things like this. This is the type of world I don't mind being in, a fantasy world like this, where it's not all war-torn and everyone's fighting everyone, even humans and animals and beasts, folk and, and whatever else. We're not all fighting each other. And when I show up to say, I want to help you, and when I, uh, and Shigura's it hurt, they were like, yeah, okay, then let's, let's get, let's help them. Uh, not like, I don't trust you, human. You need to do a thousand quests for me, or no, get out, or you'll die. It's just like, no, this, this is nice. Thank you, Elder. A proper fantasy world. Come on, let's hurry back to Pow's place. Sure thing. Thanks, Elder. Um, can I warp? I 
I can. Okay. <laughs> You're able to leave if there's no monsters around and I don't get a penalty for it. I'm gonna save because I know a cutscene's gonna kick in again. But that was, uh... Goodbye, Sh uh, Sh Shangala? Shingala. Right, Shin Godzilla, right. Alright, this is where we say our farewells to him. I'm not gonna feel sad at all. <laughs> I haven't had enough time to hang out with him. Final Fantasy... before Crisis? Final Fantasy 7? You, you hang out with a person for a long time. So if anything were to happen to them, you're gonna feel sad. Hurry and give the medicine to Shingala. Okay, I thought you were going to do that. Injured Shingala's in pain. Open the menu, push the buttons. Time for the happy victory music. Wow. Magical medicine, look at the glow. His wounds are healing. Shingala, you feeling better? Oh, I'm so glad. You're all better. <laughs> that tickles. Stop it. <laughs> Pow really looks happy. Yeah. What's happening? What's that? Don't tell me it's... The airship again? I already made a tweet joke about these bad guys tonight, and it's about time we see them. <laughs> I gotta make jokes about them before they start showing up in my games, I see. Gaspar! Yes. It's heading towards Shigura Village! Don't tell me they're going to attack! No, there's no way. Why would they attack him? I'm sure they will. Let's get to the village fast. What? Why? Why are they attacking them? I don't understand these bad what? guys. What's going on? The future's attacking now. You and Shingala go back to your place. We'll defend Shigura Village. Huh? What? But just do it. You don't want Shingala to get hurt again, do you? <sighs> okay. And he listens. Let's go, Monica! Right! I'm gonna save again. <laughs> I know I saved three times in like two minutes, but yeah, now it's gonna be a, a boss battle, so... Actually, this would be a good spot to double save. Why here? That fire is normal. Hey, what are the Shigura doing? <laughs> it's like we don't use our eyes at all. Look on their forehead, on the top of their heads, please. Look, they've got the same devices on as Shingala did. They're being controlled. That Gaspard, he doesn't stop at anything. What's with the base here? I heard the bass, like, just, like, get ready to rev up the song. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> Bad guy laugh. How do you like my new invention, the marionette? Now the Shigura are under my complete control. Dr. Jamming, tragic figure. <laughs> this, I wasn't expecting this, okay. So you're the one that put that thing on Shingala. Huh? Oh, you mean that Shigura calf? Why, yes, that was my work as well. I had quite a lot of fun with that one. 
at least they finally explained it because yeah it was just like nothing it was just on its head and, and there was no, there was nothing only we're only now being told about it i assumed it was the bad guys but it was an assumption you won't get away with this now we know at least why you little loud mouth just what do you plan to do eh I think I'll just have my Shigura toy with you for a while. How does that grab you? <laughs> Take that! Ow. Gotta be a little bit faster. Got it. Easy now. Just missed. Okay. One, two, okay. No problem. We got this. That was way easier. <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing any health damage to him. No, I can't believe it. You actually beat me. I can't believe you thought you were a challenge. <laughs> what are they doing? But why are you... <laughs> Can I have a change of heart because they're nice to him? You're all worthless. And weak. Withdraw. Now drop and give me 20. Yes, sir. Is their armor's got eyes on it? <laughs> So the bad guy just lost him and he's just like, oh, you're weak, and then he runs away? These are weird bad guys. Thank you for saving us. We don't have the thingies in our, in our ears. Who were those people? Bad guys from the past future. They're the dark forces sent by Emperor Griffin. Emperor Griffin? That's right. He and his henchmen are trying to undo history. I don't know what he's after exactly. Probably trying to stop the moon from destroying uh, the world. But I do know that if we don't stop him, our world may be destroyed. Hmm. I see. I had no idea. This world has got a whole lot bigger. I truly must be getting old. I should have known what was going on in the world. My days as the elder of this tribe are coming to an end. You're retiring early? Max! Monica! Hey, it's Pow! And? You are the one who rescued our stray tribe member? Oh, no, it's nothing, really. So... It was you, was it? This child's mother was lost on this trip. Even for the Shigura, an expedition of this kind is never easy. 
It's a long journey, and we lose many along the way. Sadly, this child's mother was one of them. Oh, okay, that's not, that's not a happy story at all. With his mother gone, I am sure he thought of you as his own parent. Oh. I don't know how to thank you. This child will grow up to be a fine Shigura, thanks to your kindness. Oh, stop it, Shingala. <laughs> well, okay. Could have been a little bit more happier, happy fa fantasy world, but... Even in PS2. Our tribe must return south now. So this is goodbye. We must part. For now. Thank you for all you have done. May you have good fortune in your travels. Farewell, all of you. <laughs> this is Take good care of yourself, Shingo. The sad moment. I know you'll grow up to be a great Shigura. <laughs> hey, it's hard for me to say goodbye too, you know. Go on, off you go. Off you pop. We didn't spend as much time as those two did. So yeah, there's there's not a whole lot of like goodbye moments. Shingala! I know you'll come back someday. I'll she, be waiting for you. Is Shingala crying too? <laughs> oh I don't laugh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the animal to be all super sad too. Oh Bye, Shingala. Well, Take care. That threw me off. So the sea dragon, Shingala, after seeing the kindness of humans, set out on his own journey across the wide seas. Every year from that day, Shingala continued to bring Luna Stones to this shore, and when he did, he always looked for Pau. Shingala never for a moment forgot the special days that he spent with Pau. And then, 20 years later, Thanks to the biggest load of Luna Stones ever, brought by the new Shigura elder, Shingala, the world's premier research center. 20 years later. Lunatic Wisdom Laboratory was finally completed. Which is what I think he did, right? And that old rabbit is him? Okay, well... Oh. Is this Pau? You came at a good time. I've just finished my latest creation. Take a look. What's that? It's a Nova Cannon. It's a weapon that uses the sun's energy to generate a powerful beam. Attach this to your ride pod, and then you'll have nothing to fear. <laughs> really? <laughs> All right. Thanks, Dr. Osmond. No problem. Wow. Well, we got a Nova Cannon. So, we get it for story. If you were inventing, you probably could have had it earlier. The Nova Cannon. Probably. How this game seems to be working. Well, at least it wasn't no, like, electrical something else, so... I'm happy with that. All of the buildings should be made now. 
What the? <laughs> I guess the building went down in the middle. Wow, okay. the greatest research facility in the world. This is the central lab, the biggest research room of them all. Hey, I bet they can make something to send us back 10,000 years here. I bet you you're right. But do we have a few more places to go before we can just do that? Or do we go back to 10,000 years in the past and we gotta go through a few more? Thanks to you, the lab's been completely restored to its former state. I really appreciate it. Now let me explain my plan for getting you to Griffin 10,000 years in the past. Really? Sure, there's nothing this Luna Lab can't do. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Is it a ship? No, it's a train. <laughs> it's a super, it's a super powered train. Ixion, a time traveling locomotive. Ooh, that's the uh, lightning unicorn in Final Fantasy X. A fantastic non-stop express that can cross both time and space. Wow. When this is finished, you'll be able to travel 10,000 years into the past where Griffin is. And, and beyond if you want. Amazing. How much longer will it take? Oh, I've got two or three more dungeon areas. Well, let's see. Let me check. Dr. Jamming. Jamming? We saved him. We saved him from a, lo a long time ago. What? Now, hold on a minute. This is not the same jamming that attacked you back in the past, okay? Oh. Well, not exactly the same anyway. He happens to be his grandson. Dr. Jamming's grandson? I'm terribly sorry. It seems my grandfather caused you a lot of trouble. Please accept my apology. However, without my grandfather's research, I would have never been able to develop the Ixion. My grandfather was researching technology that would allow objects to float on the air using sound. He called this his aeroharmonics flying technology. Uh -huh. However, he came to a dead end in his research and became desperate. That's when Gaspard persuaded my grandfather into becoming one of Griffin's servants. But when he lost that battle to you two, he had a change of heart. He rededicated himself to his research and was able to perfect his aeroharmonics technology. He perfected aeroharmonics? Just floating vehicles, just think of it that way. Many flying vehicles were developed <laughs> after that based on his technology. <laughs> Heavens, are you from the future? How many times did I have to tell you I can't answer that? Of course, the Ixion here takes advantage of the same technology, and by combining it with the space-time control panel I developed, my grandfather has passed away. But before he died, he told me I should use his research for something good and just. I try to carry on his wishes, and I think that by continuing his research, this world can truly be saved. Dr. Jamming. He was quite a guy. After he uh, got beat up, yeah. Yes. Then you helped him become the man he was. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say. I mean, he was on the, he wasn't on the right path until he knocked him knocked some sense into him. But that's strange. In the history I know, Aeroharmonics technology was never perfected. Our travels must be creating a new history for the world. Do you think that's okay? Well, I'm still getting the hang of this, but I'm thinking that maybe history as you know it is not necessarily the one true history. Oh boy, now, now we're getting into the complicated stuff. Huh? 
As well as fixing the flow of time that Griffin has disrupted, we've also been able to add new flows to it. And though these have been different from the original flows, maybe they're meant to be the real world history. Ultimately, you could say that even Griffin himself is playing a necessary part in creating a new, complete history. Griffin? Necessary? You can't be serious! <laughs> that was, she's worked up! Why not? Doctor, something terrible's happened! What, what, what? The rebel forces in the West are coming under attack from Griffin! What? Attacked? Get me Elena! The rebel forces in the West. Huh? Elena? Elena. Your name, mother. In the future, though? Just who is my mother? And why isn't she with us? Even my own father wouldn't answer my questions. Now I realize that father hoped I would find out those answers for myself. <laughs> Doctor, this is Elena. We're fighting Griffin's main army over here. If it carries on like this, Griffin will probably attack the Luna Lab too. Be careful. Mother? Is that... is that Max? <laughs> is this really my mom? Yes. You mean this boy is Elena's... That's right. Max is Elena's son. Max, I'm sorry. I bet your father never told you what happened to me. You got teleported to the future somehow. That's right. But why? Max, we live in different worlds. What? It's all right, Max. I'll explain everything. Before you die? Like, this is, not, this is gonna be one of those sad stories, right? The music. I'll tell you why I couldn't go on living with you. But to explain that, I need to explain what's going on in this world now. What do you mean by that? I'm from the future, just like Monica. Our time has changed greatly because of the devastation caused by Emperor Griffin. If we fix it, will you be able to come back? We couldn't let Griffin get away with it. So the people of our time formed a rebel force to fight against him. But Griffin began to use the power of the stone. Stone? One of the fabled Atlamilia stones that possess great powers. Powers that can move the earth and control time. Is that what we had in the first game? It, it was that word, right? Griffin harnessed that power to rewrite history bit by bit. He turned on people and erased their very existence from history. At Lemelia are strange jewels with a will of their own. They choose their owners themselves. Legend has it that At Lemelia will only choose for their owners people of good heart. Right, so what is he plotting? We don't know how Griffin has managed to get his hands on one of the At Lemelia. But the fact is, he can use the power of that stone. And he needs to have a good heart, huh? And for us to be able to fight him, we needed one too. Three Atlamelia exist in the world. Red, blue, and the first yellow. is the sunstone, which Griffin possesses. The other two are the moonstone, which emits a blue light, and the earth stone, which emits a red light. Griffin tried to increase his powers by gaining possession of the remaining two Atlamelia. So he searched for the remaining two stones. First, we traced the owner of the moonstone. That was Monica's father, King Raybrandt. At first we thought we could inherit the Atlamelia from King Raybrandt to help us in our fight against Griffin. But the stone wouldn't accept any one among us as its owner. And so, in the end, we were unable to get the stone. We guarded King Raybrandt, 
so that the stone would not fall into Griffin's hands. We decided to protect the person that the stone had chosen from the threat of Griffin. But Griffin was devious, and he assassinated King Raybrandt. Griffin didn't get his hands on the stone, though. The stone refused to become Griffin's, and instead chose King Raybrandt's daughter, Monica, as its new owner. That's how the second stone came to be Monica's. Okay. And so we looked for the last remaining Atlamilia, the Earth Stone. They're all in different timelines, though. But we couldn't find it, because it didn't exist in our time. According to the prophecy of the great sage, Crest, the Earth Stone existed 115 years in the past. How did that lady live 150 plus years plus the age that she was? Its owner was a young boy called Gerald. We knew that Griffin would use his powers to travel through time and go back to Gerald's era looking for the stone. In order to protect the Red at Lemelia, I traveled to Gerald's time. And I made it my job to protect him. But during the time I was with Gerald, I fell in love with him. <laughs> this is uh, quite the story, wow. And then Max, you were born. The first five years of your life went by in a flash. But then I had to return to my own time because the war against Griffin was intensifying. I said goodbye to you and Gerald and I returned to my time. I haven't been able to see you since. My mother is from the future? I mean, time travel is real, so I guess it's not a big surprise, but I was wondering when... I, I, I wasn't trying to... I wasn't thinking uh, she was going to be from the future, though. That's right, and we are the ones that were chosen by these two Atlamilia. Us... Us two, huh? Versus... There's two versus one. But I... I was just given this stone by my father. No, not exactly. Your father couldn't even touch it anymore. He must have realized the stone had chosen a new owner. Gerald couldn't touch it himself, but he saw you could play with it without effect. The Atlamilia chose you as its new owner, so Gerald let you have it. I think that the Atlamilia have reasons for who they choose as their owners. I would hope so. There's probably even a reason why Griffin was chosen. A reason he was chosen? That's right. The sunstone, huh? Like what? Like the falling sun or moon? That I don't know. But the stones are guiding people for the sake of something great. I can just feel it. I'm sorry. It looks like we haven't any more time to talk. Just wait a little longer. If we can recreate Pasnos, we'll have a chance to fight back. Pasnos? Recreate Pasnos? But how? Max and Monica will recreate its origin point, of course. The origin point of Pasnos is a workshop in Heimrada, a village at the foot of Mount Gondor. You'll have to head there. But Mount Gondor is a dangerous place. I'm not sure if you... <laughs> is it any more dangerous than the other chapters I've already died on? We'll be fine, Elena. Just leave it to us. Don't worry, Mother. I'll save you. Just stay here. And keep Max. fighting. Okay. Just keep fighting. Don't give up. Take care, both of you. You bet! I finally meet my mother. <laughs> set out for your next goal so like it's nice to have somebody so smart already knows what we need to exactly do the volcano mount gundor a huge factory the gundorado workshop will be built there in the future that's where the rebellion army's ace in the hole pasnos will be built pasnos it was the mobile stronghold of our rebel army it got wiped out. But so, what's stopping Griffin from... After we've moved on from chapter 1, 2, and 3? 
What's stopping him from going back and redestroying chapter one, two, and three while we're moving ahead? Griffin wiped Pasnos out, but if we could bring it back, I bet we can make a counterattack. Then let's go to Mount Gundor. A mountain, but we're not gonna be climbing a mountain. We're just gonna be going in caves again. And it's instantly fixed right away. Hey, Max, Monica, how's that bridge? We finished the repairs ages ago, guys. Then let's head for Mount Gundor. No. All right. Uh, isn't there a bunch of treasure chests? <laughs> Uh, like, isn't there a bunch of treasure chests? I went into buildings to get treasure chests. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch there. Also, I'm curious... ...the percentage of my town. I'm, I'm pretty sure it should be 100%. Yep. So no treasure up here. Okay, how about we go around the building? Ah, look at that. So yeah, I really need these items now. Like now is the time to be getting them. A ruby? Get that rubbish out of here. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say, I'm starting to feel uh, like I've played enough, and it's, it's because we're nearing the three hour mark, yep. Okay, so I don't see any... This is a wonder around. Again, there's probably more treasure chests here. I just need to move further on and complete more... ...dungeons and defeat more bosses to have more treasure chests appear, uh, I think. Okay, well, I'm getting some nice gems, but I wasn't expecting to get gems from these. I was hoping these were all, you know, stat, stat growth stuff. But apparently not. I'm just running straight out the door, so I assume I can hold up straight still. Uh, but no, it's the camera 180s there every time, huh? getting to this point we get we just get stronger now hopefully enough defense to handle the enemies at the end beginning and the end of, of the next dungeon we're gonna go into
And again, should I head to the other dungeons as well, to the futures, and see if there's any treasure chests in them? Because I would really like to get way stronger than this. It would be awesome. Okay, now we're back up. All right, let's enter in this door. Let's see what's what type of treasure chests are in here and then move on. Monica's monster research? Swap the match to take some photos, I think. Telescope, Cedric Shop, and Crescent Shaped Light. Samurai Say cheese. body? A gold bar. I'll hold off. I, I, I might be good. The emblem above the central lab was designed after the moon. So we got all the top parts explored. There it is. Uh, I needed to build something with that, but I don't know what it was.
I think we gotta go check both sides, because I can't loop to both sides. No, okay, we can. I thought the thing down one of the sides, but it was just one path, but it looked like there was two paths. But it, it's just that one. Okay. We're good to go, then. Well, time to eat a bunch of these items. Forty-four and forty-four. Okay, we seem to be like perfectly even now. One twenty. One twenty. Okay. So, ten, ten, and ten. Ooh, ten durability. Ten, ten. Fifteen and fifteen. Five eight eight eight. Odd numbers, okay. Cool. Again, attaching that to any of the weapons and then just turning that weapon into <laughs> something uh, synthesized as well should be fine. Probably even better than the ones I made before. Okay, so... Let's warp around? There's nothing here. But Sindane has the future place. It's not even close to finish though, this town is not finished. Um... But I don't know what unlocks the treasure chests. Um, looking up the thing, there's like, you gotta fight thing, and I'm like, okay, did I fight the thingy? It doesn't say like, when you're done chapter one, here are the- there's only three treasure chests to open. And it's just like, when you're done chapter two, these are the treasure chests you can open. And then when you're done chapter three, these are the treasure chests, and I'm like, oh, awesome, then like, let's get this done. Um... But yeah, it doesn't quite work that way. Uh, they just have a list of where all the treasure chests are, and just like, this floor unlocks these two treasure chests, and this boss unlocks these three treasure chests, and just like... Did I do it? Did I- uh, did I- did I do the right thing? Did I already fight them? Did I not? So yeah, um... Actually, the station first. Um... Because it would be nice to upgrade- oh, upgrade the, uh, my robot. I bought the core and it's already upgraded. Okay. Okay. So now, what can I buy now? 2,000 will give me another thing. So should I just keep buying these to keep my defense going up? 
it like save up to 2000 but keep going up this for a while this is the one where the thing is right by the store right I missed the song. Maybe I got all the treasure chests. <laughs> uh, I just don't know, like... Okay. So I know to not quickly grab the one that I see over here on my right. That one's the that one's the one that'll glitch out a, some stats, so we don't want to do that. But what I don't think I knew is treasure chests can appear inside inside buildings. So we gotta go inside all the buildings and just double ch check everything. I'm not seeing any treasure chests here, okay. Again, um, I have to wait till chapter 6 to open up one treasure chest, meaning there might be more treasure chests spawning after a while as well? I really gotta play an RPG, everybody! Uh, and the one that I'm playing is RPG, but it's not... It's not the type that I want to play. I am leveling up many things, that's the problem. I'm not leveling up just me or a few characters to, in an RPG setting where that makes you stronger. So yeah, I, I would prefer to be playing a traditional, even in like a... No, yeah, no, a traditional RPG where I just level up a few people and that that's all you need to do. The one that I'm playing, you just level up five or six things as well and beat the game, if you know the right ones to get. Is over here the only way to get up? It is, I think, isn't it? Up, up to the top, it is. Let me hop over here. I don't see anything. Unless I got all of the tre treasures, but like, I feel like I'm, I must have missed some. I think I don't remember getting any treasure chest inside any of these houses. Actually, can I buy anything from you? No, I can't buy any food from him at all? Okay, take a right, go up to the top. Can I go up from the top from here as well? No, I think it's only from over here. I mean, I feel like there's like another building I gotta go into, but I could very well be wrong. I know I ran around here and grabbed a few things. Actually, did I even take a photo of this?
<laughs> Great sage crust. Um... We're already looped around. Well, I guess that's it. So I guess maybe I got everything? <laughs> I really wanted more stuff. I really did. Um, but I guess, I guess that's it really. Um, yeah, no, there would be nothing there. We still have, like, this place here, the next to go to, which would be chapter 5, and then 6, and then 7? Alright, I gotta talk to him, but let's, um, double check my inventory. Everything's fine. My ride pod's got 120 health now, still not enough. I could also make a samurai thing if that's better. I... Did not need to save over that one. One. Can I not see how strong it is? One twenty, one twenty. I just made it that okay. With the with the sword it would look like it matches, but okay, I think I need to No, I think this is the torso that I had a while ago, and I made that a while ago. But the, I made a better looking body. It didn't change anything, that's not what I'm trying to fix. Okay. Um, make. I made an energy tank. I guess I, I guess I, I guess we, I thought we made this. But, uh... I'll, I'll keep it. When am I gonna get more monster? I really thought we would have had two or three more by now, but we didn't get any. I'm guessing we don't need it? Is that- is we aren't gonna transform into one monster and then we have all those empty spaces for no reason? I don't know why I'm saving. I think it's just- just I- just when you don't think and you just do stuff naturally, that's what happens to me. I just- I just go and save. You wanna leave? Yeah. And here we go! Mount Gundor, here we come! So... 
we got I, I see that we got the mountain and the thing to the right of that and also to the bottom right of that there's lakes so there could be more parts of the world or there's two more and we go to the future then five six no i think there's probably three more places then the future or the past the past Chapter 5, Conflict of the Past and Future I definitely see Chapter 5 and Chapter 6. Maybe Chapter 7's the po- no, wait, maybe we go back to the- to the first town. The doors open up through us. What's this? It's heat from the volcano. It's raining embers! Something is definitely up! The village of Heimrada should be here at the foot of Mount Gundorf. But I guess it got wiped out too. Let's get going then, Monica. Be careful out there, you two. There's nothing much we can do this time, so we'll just take it easy on the train, okay guys? If you need any help with anything, just let us know. Can now be placed in the Georama. So, the train is good to go to the next place? Are we not gonna- are you not gonna fix the rock? So, if I move into a new chapter, do we instantly get new, stronger, better things? N no <laughs> Nothing gets added there at all, got it. Um, I guess we go up the volcano, but... I don't know why this song makes me want to play Final Fantasy VII. It must be like the weird bottom part, a little bit of the outside, a little bit of Don Corneo. Just like a little bit of Final Fantasy music into this one. I just want to play that game now. Weird. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen you for chapters, and now I see you twice in one episode? The Ember's not burning that down. Time. Gaspard must be hopping mad that we've been restoring all the origin points. <laughs> hopping mad! And there's no way we're gonna let him stop us, right? You're right. I wonder if Gaspard's causing these falling embers, too. No doubt about it. Oh, there's no way we can start bringing back wood and straw buildings now. I got brick. He's trying to stop us from building so we can't revive any more origin points. That monster! That low down, no good! Let's hurry, Monica! <laughs> that monster! Yeah. Alright, well, the bad guys are starting to do some bad guy stuff. I was like, man, I've seen them two times in this uh, playthrough? Uh, and then we've seen them two times in, uh, in this episode, so... Ooh, interesting. Thirty culture points. Don't tell me all we need is seventy. Four or five houses is all we need. <laughs> this place is neat. Anyway, let's. Uh, I'll save in case if we go in and there's something happening right away. I don't trust it. Let's see if, like, floor one's gonna be super nice, super fun, super easy. And, uh... And then, like, second floor just jumps up to super difficulty. And it just gets harder and harder and harder, and then we just need to get a few more things in the future. Just to barely make it through again. Yeah, it's, it's, it's... Whoa. 
It's like the games where you can't level up, and you just, you gotta just get what you get. Either A is weapon drops and armor drops, and that's your attack and defense, or... That's a treasure chest? I approached it cautiously, because I, I wasn't completely certain about what I was about to do. Okay, enemy there. Oh. This geyser looks like it could uh, blow any second. Press square to open. Okay, so it's a geyser that will shoot us up, up the mountain more? Okay, my hammer's not going up that fast. Griffin soldier. Well. Okay, there's healing. I'm just attacking and I'm not even trying to block at all, which is not a good idea. Ah. I can start saving those now. Oh wow, this is a not cool place to be. fun. Getting stopped by every attack, it's gonna be real fun here. I think I gotta get Max's weapon done as soon as possible so I can start leveling up Max. I, I feel like I'm gonna fall really behind if I don't get a Max's weapon to the next level. Obtain stone tea. Not too sure what that's about. Okay, maybe it's a, a key, maybe it's a wall opening thing uh, in all the other dungeons. Dick Joe, huh? Let's confirm if Floor 1 never has Mimics. Ooh. 
very nice. There's an enemy somewhere nearby. Oh, okay. the timing down for this enemy yet either and I don't know how Max is going to hit them because the attack's so slow it, it's just it's not gonna happen okay we we went to a very good way um I wanted to at least get this whole place searched but now that I know that this is the way to go rifle wolf Wolf, dude, what a scope and everything! <laughs> I've seen all kinds of enemies, but not a floating sniper wolf. Uh, interesting. Let's head this way since we know that this is a dead end. gotten hunks of copper in a long time and we're getting it here again wow wow <laughs> i just got bopped very hard there all right cool that's fun getting beaten up by these things Okay, maybe I should go get healed. Uh, so, so... Well, unless there's a bunch of enemies and I get... If I get K if I get KO'd though, it's gonna not be worth it. Because this way will lead me up to where I want to go anyway, and then I'll be exploring, but if there's a bunch of enemies... So far, so good. Stuck up from the water. <laughs> Did like the Nar Naruto versus Neji thing. I, I popped out of the ground and got him. <laughs> There's no way Naruto should have won that battle. There's no way Naruto should have won 99 of his battles, but main character armor plot by the looks of it. Okay, uh... gun ever. <laughs> Maybe I should be though. Listen, I'm so confident there's no mimic, so I'm gonna open up from the front. Yeah, I'm not hurt that badly, so... Thank you. 
so that rock thingy that I got must be something we put on the geyser and, it, and we step onto it and a, it, it fires us upward. And now this thing... What does it say? The stone wall is blocking your path. So how does this T thing... I just... Oh, I, I, I plugged the hole! I, I plugged the little geyser and it fires them up. Wow, okay. I wanted to show you how, how to delete rocks, but I, I didn't want to. Yeah. Oh, wait. The rocks got deleted anyway. There was a rock in front of us, and it got deleted. Uh, yeah. So, if you, also, if you pick it up, it deletes them, so... Very strange. Ah, more destruction. Um, is the red thing an enemy, or the red thing where I'm firing? It's one shot. Monica, don't mess up, or it's gonna be really embarrassing for you. Wait, Max had the swap? If it's one shot... <laughs> That's my kind of golf. Okay, um... I gotta unequip this. I equipped it on Monica and she did not golf. Monica, Monica is my kind of character. John does overtime. There's a few leaps in logic in this game. Is there? Level up powder. Wait, level up powder? Didn't we used to get that in the first game? It's been forever since I've seen any of these. This is my first level up powder. Instantly upgrades a weapon to the next level. We're not, we're not gonna use that, but that's our first one we got all game. Wow. Well, welcome to the live stream, by the way. Am I bad if I missed you for a long time? No one said a word for a long time. So I try not to look at chat when no one's around. Uh, <laughs> but I'm glad I hopefully caught you not too late. I don't know why Max is the only one who plays golf, but not because Monica knows golf is not fun, and I, I agree with her. I, I'm more Monica in this game, too. I'm, I don't want to golf at all. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. Back out to heal. So I can't build anything, but I can build brick houses. Can brick houses handle fire in the sky? We'll find out. A great crane. Second floor workshop. Fire squall. Hey, don't be mocking Pharmacy 8. Ah, fire squall. Fire squall. Fire Squall destroyed. Okay, well, we got we got that stuff unlocked. Uh, I can make an arm? Let's see this armor. The Great Crane. Oh, I can't put it down anywhere? It's okay. And we probably gotta clear up the fire first. <laughs> well, I'm curious. Now, can I put a house down? Uh, I'm pretty sure a house can... No. Oh, I can put a house down! Oh, okay. I need to attach it to a house. Oh, okay. I, I would have never known that. Um, okay. Well, I want a house really close by to my... to where I start. It does go on a house. <laughs> I 
never would have thought. How much culture do we have for that? Anyway. Uh, please don't give me all the answers. I really... Uh, if, if I get totally stuck, I will gladly ask you. But yeah, I don't need to know every single answer. Most likely, since this is the fifth time we've done this, yes. The game will tell me who I need to put in the houses. And we gotta go back to Palm Brinks, indeed. And grab whoever whoever's name I haven't picked up yet. And put them in the house. It's, it's the same thing over and over. Nothing has changed. But yeah, you don't need to show up and be like, Yeah, you get all of this, and you get a cool sword if you go here. I don't... That would just take away all of the surprise. So, uh, you don't need to give me all that sweet information. Tell me, like, you know, somebody is the voice actor for this thing. That, I would not know that. Telling me there's, like, some super secret thing that I would obviously miss, and telling me that, if you're like, that, that's cool. You're just, you're just mocking the game? Yeah, like, I, I was, I was kind of mocking the game, too, like... It's, it's, it's literally like, yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna get told who, go back to Palm Brinks and add, add another person. You're right. <laughs> you are right. So, yeah. Um, do you like this game, though, John? Because, uh, I, I don't mind it. But, yeah, it's literally the same dungeons over and over, kinda. The battles are just not easy. And you're right, the building is... I, I, made a, I made so many towns to 100% and I didn't do anything in the towns. I built two houses, put two people in it, and boom, I was done. And the dragon didn't attack, so I was waiting for it to attack. Yeah, so I feel like Dark Cloud 1 did a good job on the towns as well. That's how I felt when I played the game. And then, like, I know you can go back. After you've done everything, you could spend a couple hundred hours in the towns in Dark Cloud 2. Um, but yeah, like, you don't have to. I don't mind the game, but it's definitely not going to be my favorite game of this year. Sadly, it's not. It, I, I played too many good games already this year. Uh, I should jump back. One more level and I'll be able to kill that enemy in one combo. Also, I struggled to get um, leveled up in this game. My weapons, that is. It took me a while to figure out I need to level up a thousand wrenches and that took way too many hours. Let's well kill him in one combo. Okay, we got a area that heads southward, and we got areas over here. Oh, come on, two dragons at once? I can't, I can't do anything until it's only one dragon left, okay. Why is he flying over this way? There we go, we're good. I would not be able to take on two enemies at once, you'll just die. Whoa, he started rolling right away, I see. <laughs> yeah, you almost need a guide indeed. You're right, I played Final Fantasy XI, and that game you need a guide. There's no way to go through that game without a guide. Um, Dark Cloud 1 I didn't really need a guide though. Dark Cloud 1 I just fused weapons at the beginning of the game, and I had, I had a 7th heaven before I got out of the first dungeon. Uh, this game here, I tried I tried fusing weapons and I just I ruined all my weapons. I had to start Monica's sword all over. Uh, it was a lot of work to get that sword back. So, uh, yeah, um, but this one, this one I needed help on. Uh, really, I did. And now I know where I'm going. I looked up. How did I manage that? So, with Monica's, with the first, let me, let me word it with visuals. With Max's wrench, if you level up to level four or five, you can instantly go to the other wrench. 
no upgrades needed. And you'll need to put a, like, what, three or four, um, three or four smash and three or four beast, and you could get the third weapon. So I assume Monica's first sword would also take three or four points, but it didn't. It took like 10 of something and 10 of another thing, making me use up all of my synthesis points on my sword. Um, so when I got my sword up, I only had 20 points while Max had over 100 points on, on his wrench. Uh, so Monica had a, a sword that was that was not strong and no synthesis points. So that's how I ruined Monica's sword. Um, then I'm like, okay, let's get another Monica sword, and then I'm gonna use wrenches onto it to level up, and then now Monica has... Monica's... this is Monica's sword and it's not done yet. But Monica's sword looks like this, and I'm nowhere near done. Uh, I'm just leveling it up. Uh, 114 synth points, just ready to go at any time. So, like, yeah, I got it figured out now, but I, I really did a bad job on the first sword. Um, so, it's- it's coming together, it's just- it was a fight. Uh, I'm- I'm not going hard on the golf, I'm not going hard on fishing, and I'm not going hard on... on, uh, making things. Oops, I hit- I must- I must have been holding R when I hit attack, um... The, the the building things I know if you build things you can get some really really strong stuff um but I didn't build anything either make anything uh because that requires you to take photos of everything which I've taken a few photos but I've already missed a bunch of scope scoop uh, scoops so my game is already ruined because I missed a few scoops what a throw wait can I hop over I can oh awesome <laughs> poor soldier just got just got thrown from a floor above on, with a rock ouch another level up awesome so yeah um i do recommend if you want to get strong though you should invest in scoops and use a guide for that and then actually try to make as much as you can read every single thing and make everything it'll save you so much so much strength. You'll get so much stronger with stronger weapons. Early on. And again, I'd rather play as Monica than, than Max. Max's slow hammer is just too slow. Uh... Okay, I don't see anything. Oh, there's some rocks here. But yeah, Max's slow hammer is strong. It's awesome, but too slow. Rune is a strong word, but yeah, the scoops are kind of... Yeah, I mean, I couldn't make the clown shoes to win the race. But somehow I won the race without the clown shoes. That's... that... that cop... That... that... that cop that I had to do the race for under two minutes and one second? That thing? Yeah, I don't know how I won. I don't know how I did it without the clown shoes, but I did. It makes it so much easier, because the clown shoes are very light. Um... And it, you just, you just run, you could do it, you could do it really easily. <laughs> if you want to struggle, do it without the clown shoes. I, you know, I've, I couldn't work on any, I worked on my sword so much, I don't have any guns. I still have the base gun and the base bracelet. I'm wearing Monica's level 1 bracelet. It's it's level 2, I think. And I have Max's uh, trumpet gun that I needed to get my father. Um, and that was it. And I still have the trumpet gun. It's as far as I've gotten. So even if Ma uh, Max has rocket launchers and nukes, I, I, I'll, I'll never get a gun leveled up. It, it's so... I'm already, what, 60 hours into this game, and I, I'm, I'm still, still weak. Gun repair powder, I don't even use that thing. I've been fighting everything with weapons, uh, swords and hammers only. And, uh, when Monica had to fight, 
uh, those robots, I needed to use all the throwing items to beat them because Monica couldn't do any damage and I wasn't allowed to summon the max. Okay, I can't be fighting. Oh, these things explode, don't they? I can buy better ones, but I still need to level them up, right? At some point, I need to level up. Okay, I got the block. The camera's freaking out. It's fine. <sighs> Somehow I'm still alive? What a shocker. The, yeah, I mean, as of right now, the, the ranged guns are doing nothing for me. If I could buy a super-powered gun that'll just, like, let me do 100 damage, I'd buy it right now, but... Uh, I, I just can't. I, I, know if I, I know I could make one. I could probably make one right now that's stronger, but... I need to go around and take some more photos, find the recipe somewhere in the world, or look it up online, which I don't want to do. That'll ruin the whole game experience. Um, and then make it, but yeah, I, um, I, I just don't want to run around the world again. Okay, Max would have gotten hit there. Max would have definitely gotten smacked in the face by the time he would have swung. times did I golf this game? Three or four times? I say three times I golfed this game, and the last one I did was in this <laughs> last floor, because it was a one-shot and be done with it. Okay, we've looped, and... Yeah, we're, we're not golfing with this one. Are you getting ads too? So, very recently, um... Which sent me, uh, stuff saying, listen, uh, uh, you need to do all of this stuff because you're an affiliate. <laughs> and it's just like, uh, okay. So, uh, it's been crazy. I would love to, like, get rid of the ads, um, completely, but they're like, no, uh, don't do that. Um, so I would love to have less ads too because... Twitch has gone pretty crazy. If you would have showed up like, I don't know, a half a year ago, my channel was not like this. Uh, but even YouTube. Uh, I went on YouTube and tried to watch just one of the YouTubers I'd watch, and uh, I couldn't. Uh, there was an ad every like five seconds as well. Um, and it's just like, I think the ad apocalypse is uh, now hitting me fully for the first time. And having an ad blocker doesn't work anymore. Um, YouTube just freezes. Uh, and, you, and you can't watch videos, so... Uh, even that's not working. I threw the rock and there was no water? Then... There was water and to throw the rock again? Oh, okay, we're gonna split to the left. And circle all the way around up there. Okay, or we're gonna go to the right. I'm assuming the right's probably that little shiny star power door as well. Uh, your ad blocker works on YouTube. Mine, I the one I tried. Uh, it, even if I clicked away, it, it still froze the video, and it's and the thing kept popping up saying you need to not use ad blocker over and over and over. Uh, so I, I just, I just went, oh, okay, cool. I mean, I, I, I support YouTube by not having ad blocker either, but man. 
It was way too many ads to watch a, a 20 minute video. Um, uh, so three st sturdy houses placed. Wait, three sturdy houses place and then culture? Okay, I, I didn't, I, I was messing around with these houses. I wasn't serious. Okay, if I want culture, I just need to put a iron lamp times three and see how that helps first. Can I switch wall by Nope, I have to do this, don't I? Whoa. Twenty-seven, okay, uh, we're really close. One more thing will do it. Uh, I got something else, didn't I? I got something else. Let's, let's build that, because I probably need it. Uh, power arm. There you go. This better give me culture, or I'll be... There we go, 30 culture! Hey, second floor done. Boom, something in the future has changed. Let's go. Uh, that balance of uh, valley. Oh, so I, I, did, I did it on my first try. Uh, and trust me, I, I never played this game before. Um, but they told me to put down trees, and I put all the trees on one thing. And then I just built a house in different places, and a, and a church. And then I'm like, oh, my, my thing in level. So I removed all the trees, and I put uh, a tree down on each one until it all kind of leveled out. And when I put the last tree down, it, it didn't change anything, and it was just done. And I'm like, oh, awesome. <laughs> uh, I guess, I guess that's already good to go. So yeah, that was something. Uh, so I got very fortunate with that one. Uh, don't ask me how I did it, I just did it randomly and it worked. Transmission device, okay. Uh, that was the right thing to click on. Can I click on the fo fence? No. Check this place out, wow. This thing is gonna build a, a weapon to fight what's happening in the, in the future to help my mom? All right, uh, I'm down to helping my mom. That's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, I mean, like, again, I, I had no idea what I was doing, but I, I, it said I need to keep them all balanced. I had a church and a house on one thing and a house, uh, a house on each of the other ones, and then just a bunch of trees. Uh, and it just worked itself out. In fact, I could show you <laughs> what I've done, and you're gonna be like, how? How did yours work out? It makes no sense. I don't think I could, um go in any of these places. But I unlocked the second story up above, and just no way I could get up there, I don't think. Also, I could click on the transmission... transportation thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk around. I don't want to go to another dungeon again immediately, so yeah, let's just wander around. So once I start getting some buildings, we'll have some of this stuff filled out. Oh, people! Humans! There's nothing we can't make here at, uh, Gondoria Workshop. No matter how big or small, we can do it. What confidence. So that must be the north one. So, we all got erased by Griffin, huh? What a terrible monster he must be. 
and you're awfully casual about it. <laughs> I just got deleted and we're back. Ah, oh, cool. Bad guys be bad guys. Uh, I would be a little bit more, uh, I got deleted? Well, thanks for bringing me back, but I hope that doesn't happen again. <laughs> so yeah, either way, I'm almost done exploring. I just don't know how quickly I want to hop back into the dungeon. I want to get Max's weapon done now. His hammer is just waiting and I just need a few stats and then it'll be good to go. But I'm not running back to the first dungeon to level up his wrench. Uh, <laughs> to get it ready to uh, get Max's weapon ready to evolve, build up. Cool, we ran the whole thing. And because there's treasure chest doesn't exist yet. We gotta wait a little longer. Oh, is that a big... Is that a big ca uh, chasm? Ooh. I can't see through the... I can't see through the whatchamacallit. All right. They all look like their own houses, but they also look like their own computer things. All right, let's go. You can just level in, in this dungeon? Uh, not with a wrench. There's no way you can level with a wrench in, in this dungeon. Right, the, the only way I know how to upgrade your weapons very efficiently is leveling up the wrench. Get it to plus six or so. He, uh, build it up to the thing. Get that to plus six in the first dungeon. Oh, kill and switch with Monica. Um, that sounds like a lot of work. Is it faster though? Because I've never done it. Because I need a, I need a weapon done. Any of these weapons used, or are they are they all brand new wrenches? Every single one's brand new, and I I, I must have used them all up. Okay, cool. Let's. I'm moving on to the. So I, I should do it in this on this floor though, right? Let's save before I go in. I have 55 hours in, and I'm still super weak. I'll try to move on ahead, but if we run into any stone enemies and stuff, Monica won't be able to defeat it. Or any robots that the uh, ride pod needs to fight. Max can handle it with his weapon. Max is stronger than my ride pod, by the way. I keep forgetting that we hop out and I could skip that cutscene every time. So my hammer is stronger than ride pod right now. Oh no, I just, I just, got, a, I just got a weapon on my ride pod, though. Oh, I could exit out. Oh, I forgot. I I already forgot to do it. <laughs> I was trying to level up her weapon too. I instantly forgot to swap the max. <laughs> Can you tell I've never done that before? Instantly, instantly f failed. The big red fail sign. Yeah, that one. With the old gong sound to it. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, okay, let's try to swap. Okay. I can do it. I believe in me. Oh, that was nice. Level one and one attack. Uh, how cool is that? So yeah, I'm assuming though most people level up the ride pod too, right? I I haven't used the ride pod. It gets hit twice and it dies. Um, and I, I I built the level two arms, but like it was not doing anything.
<laughs> two enemies killed, two levels? Oh, I kind of like this. But poor Monica, I could get her weapon leveled up too, big time. Yeah, there's two of you. This is way faster than what I was going to do, but it's so easy to level up um, in the first dungeon. First floor. First dungeon, first floor. Oh, but my gun's getting a bunch of experience too, and that gun does not need the experience. Okay. Um... So yeah, if I were to get that right pod level up, though, that would be nice. Ah, uh, cool. So what am I seeing here? Let's head this way. I I think I, I need to... I think I ruined my gun as well, so yes, I do want to turn that one into a fusion, I think. Did I find my exit? I did, okay. No, it doesn't matter where I go, they're both going to be dead ends, so I'll just pick a path and run and wonder. Well, I like your idea more than mine. I was going to run to the first floor tonight. Oh, three enemies! that one rolling. Oops. Why is that one rolling? Okay, maybe now it won't roll. There you go. That's what I wanted. The other one kept rolling too and it wasn't supposed to. There we go. Now we're good. My, this gun is... Yeah, it's it's a build trigger with no synthesis point, so this is the one I had to level up for my for my father. Um cool. Let's just put on a bunch of chill lightning and flame and then turn it in turn this gun level up this gun and get that one going. Do I have a classic gun ready to go or did I turn it into Yeah, okay, so this is my first gun that I forced into a trumpet gun way too soon to get my father. Right, right, right. So yeah, the build-up is awesome because it's a free one, but we're gonna wait for a few more levels yet. Because we're good at this game now. Oh, I almost died though, with a wrench. Um, other games with synthesis. Um, I can't think of any at the top of my head. Do you have any other games that have that? Because I played Dark Cloud 1, right? And I I made the a best sword in the game in the first dungeon. You farmed whatever floor it was, and they kept giving you diamonds and rubies and sapphires, and I, I made the seventh heaven before I left the first dungeon. Because you can do that in the first game. Uh, minus all the other characters are super weak, but I guess you could focus on them at that point. Uh... I mean, uh, I mean I I've mean, ruined Monica's sword to figure out how to make it happen, right? R Monica's sword got ruined in the process, while Max's hammer was so strong. And I'm like, oh, like, I need to fuse Max's stuff because they, they level up f for free. 
It's literally going to be two or three, uh, two or three stones to level it up. It's, or two or three each for two things. Oops, I just realized what's going on there. I'm not trying to backflip. Grr. Two enemies at once is just always too difficult. way too difficult. <laughs> that was way too much work. Alright, um, did I miss something? I missed up there, so I probably don't have the item, don't I? So, I just, I instantly knew what to do in, in Dark Cloud, because it was just like, you know, you have a weapon, and you're like, okay, what do I do with it? Um, and it's just like, put two things on your sword. And I'm like, okay, I'll put this diamond on my sword, because I get way more points for it. And, uh, lo and behold, I just kept building up my weapons, and I, I had a 7th heaven. Very quickly and easily. Uh, this game here it took me a while to figure it out, because... I just assumed every every level 1 sword would be super easy to do, but Monica's is, was not the same as Max. But yeah, um... You definitely want to try to get as much levels as possible, keep as much synthesis as possible, and, uh... Keep fusing wrenches in, into other people's weapons. Even wrenches in the swords, uh, in the guns if you must. Uh, cause Max's weapons just free levels. Free synthesis points. Um, and at, at this point in the game I could probably make a much higher level Warhammer or whatever it's called. Uh, than I could before, so I can now probably get a very high level wrench. With more than plus 40 stats and everything. Thus giving you 20 with the synthesis, but... Yeah, like, I, I can probably get some pretty beautiful stuff happening now. Yeah, so I knew sacrificing, sacrificing weapons from the first game. Playing the first game, I, I knew to do that. Oh, what do I do with the magic that's building up on my sword? I, have, I still have no idea what to do with that magic on my sword. I blocked and now I have I have all this ice magic on my sword. And now it's gone. You hold attack while blocking, she releases it. Ah, okay, cool. If I, if I hold attack while that, I, I grab. So, uh, it's definitely not, uh, if you hold attack while blocking. All I do is grab. It, it, it's, a, it's the range button? Okay. I, w I want to learn how to do this, so... Um, I don't think that- I don't think that did it either. <laughs> All I know is that, uh, the pop-up happened in the middle of a dungeon, but I was trying to fight a monster, so I was attacking, and the pop-up happened and I- I skipped the pop-up, so I have no idea how to do it. As in block and then press R1. Block is R1. So hold and block is R1. And then when I'm blocking, then what do I do? Uh, L1 is range, X is attack. 
Uh, I tried that and I don't think anything happened. I don't think anything happened. But I, I could get I could get thunder power back, so. L1? L1. It's it's R1 then L1. Thank you. R1 then L1. You got it. I I've never knew how to do that. I tried I tried holding the attack button. I tried I, I tried holding my uh my 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 Monica's ranged attack, like nothing worked. I never tried R1 L1. <laughs> Thank you though. That's that's something I, 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 I missed the thing. It's not super useful? Oh I, I assumed having a maxed out thing would be would uh, save me when I'm blocking that one time. And probably I might have been able to destroy some of the uh, the bigger monsters. If I can build up a, a, a charge. Gotta, you gotta, I gotta try it all. If I unequipped my gun, could I get all the experience to go into my wrench instead of the gun? It's awesome that I'm leveling up the gun, but like, yeah, I'd rather just get the wrench done so I can get my hammer going. You don't think you get unequipped the gun? I missed. <laughs> I tried to hit it with it. This is way faster than what I was doing in, in, in the, the first dungeon f first floor, but yeah, both my wrench and my uh, gun is leveling up, so it's, it's, not, it's not a problem, but it, it's definitely faster. I guess I'm far enough into the game that it's kind of working out for me. I think the dungeon's done. So what level did I get Max's weapon when in, one, in one dungeon while swapping? I missed one enemy. I got Battle Wrench plus 8, it's way higher. I could only get the wrench to plus 6 in the first dungeon. Then I turned it into a true Battle Wrench and got that to plus 6. And then I got it to that thing, the Drill Wrench, and then I turned that to plus 6 and I had 40 or 50 synthesis points. So yeah, we're, we're already, this is already better. So yeah, I should try to level up, I should try to get a gun, one person strong with a gun. Um, because yeah, I, uh, I struggled with Monica, uh, when I had to fight those big old robots. Oh, did I miss enemies down there? Oh, I'm glad I checked the map one more time before I left. Uh, I was, I was just gonna go, but we missed enemies. So way over here. I would love to get at least our weapons leveled up a little bit. Our, our uh, Monica's thing leveled up a little bit, and, and Max's leveled up a bit. takes all the credit for winning. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Oh, right, if I kill all the enemies, all the rocks disappear. I should have tried to break all the rocks before... before killing the enemies. Alright, where's the gulf? Okay, we're not gulfing because that's way too far away. Got it. Well, thanks for the awesome suggestion. Um, I, I just assumed going back and leveling up the wrench a little bit here and there. Yeah, I actually stole an item from an enemy once. It was uh, quite funny. Uh, but yeah, I, again, I, I hardly ever attack with that thing, so... But I have to summon... Oh no, I just have to hit square on the thing once. Ow, oh, I did it all wrong. I see what's going on now. 
Well, cool. Uh, back out. Let's see what we can unlock here, which will be nothing, but we'll unlock some things to build and <laughs> and then that'll be that. Three house, uh, play, house place three blocks high. Workshop elevator restored. Houses place three blocks high. I have something already done, I just don't know. Three blocks high? Okay, I already passed the, the blocks. Is that two blocks high because there's two blocks stacked on top of each other? I have no idea if that's the size of a house or if this is the size of a house. How about if I save first? Because I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna mess this one up. So I like how you gave me that suggestion. Hopefully you knew about coins. Hopefully you know how to give all your weapons everything you would ever need. But I can, every time I kill an enemy, I'll get more money. That one's a bad one. A anytime I attack, I have a chance to poison. Not too sure what that one does. That, one's, that one would allow me to steal. So I can steal with every single weapon I want. Um, I think I, anytime I attack, I'll gain health and this one will heal me over time. So I'm just waiting to start evolving some of my weapons now and put these on my weapons. And I'll get to do everything, I hope, but I, I haven't done it yet. But yeah, that's what these are for. Uh, but I also can't wait to start putting these on my, on my weapons, preferably on my wrench and uh, just get a bunch of levels. More ads? <laughs> really? All right, you, you know, I can save you one one thing. If you subscribe to Heaven's Army right now, it's 25% off, and you will never see ads ever again. Subscribe now! <laughs> I can't believe how many ads you got. I was talking about these lovely coins and everything, and you missed it probably? Ah. Oh. Twitch, you're, you're way too crazy on the ads. It's way, it's way too savage. Um... Oh, it's so much work. That's still level five. Yeah, or I could just get this. I'd rather just level up this one properly and turn it into her ultimate ranged weapon. So all I need is the base and the base just once, and then I can start doing them correctly, and then all of these I can just quickly turn into something or just get rid of them and just keep leveling up the wrenches. I think it's better off to do that. I think, unless they eventually I could start leveling up these weapons, or stronger weapons. Stronger weapons, and I don't know. I, I don't know the actual method. I just, if I got the swords done and the, and the hammer done, great. So, like, yeah, but I definitely want a strong, I want the, sh I want a bunch of synthesis points when I need it, so. Either way, I won't build anything just yet. Oh, I might just do this. Um... I got one our first level powder. Nito, I have one space left and oh no, we're running out of space. I need all of this to paint and I need this to build and all of this to build. I don't need these coins and I'm eventually I can start fusing these and getting rid of them, but these are starting to get out of control now. And I guess I could sell. I, I would love to keep everything, but I guess the game won't allow me to. Anyway, hopefully I'll see you again there, John does over time. Uh, I do live stream every single night. My title shouldn't shock you. Uh, I do hold the world record of sh days streamed in a row. That's me. I'm on the internet now <laughs> for being inhuman of, of never working overtime. Yeah, I know what that's like. Uh, worked overtime for eight years straight without missing a day. <laughs> and still going. 
Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll see you again. I'll, if you have any more pro tips, I'll gladly take it. Uh, already streamed it and already beat it, so sadly I probably won't. Uh, but I have it saved on YouTube for you to watch. It's very old, it's one of my older videos too. Might have an, I might have a worse mic quality and internet quality. But yeah, I'll be I'll be playing and beating this game, and, and when it's done, it's done. So hopefully you like more games than Dark Cloud too, though. Uh, I play a lot of everything. Um, <laughs> I, I hope you come around for just more than more than games. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Um, I would like to have something to look at. Let's, um, is there anything to even look at here? I'll look at my weird houses, yeah. I mean, it's not much of a view, but that's all we got, so... <laughs> you want to make a, a Dark Cloud 3? Um, if you have all the money in the world, you can do it uh, anytime you want. <laughs> If you're a filthy rich, go ahead and do it. I'll, I'll gladly play Dark Cloud 3. Please, uh, if you do, though, speed up the combat a little bit. Don't leave it so that you just have to hold block and then wait for your turn to be ready. The combat's a little too slow. Uh... <laughs> speed up combat, make the building more fun again. And, uh, yeah, we don't need to be golfing and fishing and, and uh, playing soccer and basketball in, in this game. Uh, 2099? I'll, I'll still be alive. Uh, so yeah, g go for it. Uh, I'm expecting Dark Cloud 3 by 2099. Get it done. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm waiting, waiting for Dark Cloud 3. Uh, hopefully you do a great job on it. I'll gladly play it. So, uh, yeah. I guess? Episode done. Uh, I will. Uh, I hope. Uh, <laughs> I hope to see it now. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed, John, uh, the chillest uh, streamer ever, uh, playing games. And even if they're scary games, I'm still chill. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Thanks, Seven Leaves, for sharp and watching. And seriously, if you like what I'm doing, please hit those buttons. You know what to do by now. And I will see you all in the next episode. Take care.